Hey you doing folks, this is Ron from Ron's Beer Views and Tools. Now as you can see in front of you, I'll be reviewing the Samuel Adams Cream Stout. It truly sounds like a good brew. So with no further ado, let's uh, take a look at it. 4.9% alcohol by volume, 28 international bit units, sweet and roasty. So we know we've got some lactose in there. I like the bottles when they um, emboss the bottles. That's nice. Like I say, you, you lose the labels or the cap. You know what brewery it's from. Actually, it's the Boston Beer Company with the name Samuel Adams attached to it. Uh, they got breweries in a few locations. One of them in Lehigh, Pennsylvania. I like the way that rolls off the tongue. Lehigh, Pennsylvania. Cincinnati, Ohio, and Boston, Massachusetts, and uh, quite the uh, brewery. They've been very successful since 1984. Uh, Jim, Mr. Jim Cook started the brewery at home with his uh, grandfather's recipe, cooking in the kitchen, basically, brewing, brewing, brewing the Boston lager that we know, and uh, today, it's number of brews. I'm just kind of delving into Samuel Adams' beers now, uh, and he has a lot. He has a number of fine brews. The ones I have have had, they've all been delicious, flavorful, and good. Uh, so like I say, he started in 1984 with his grandfather's recipe, and actually the beer that his friends and family tasted and drank said, you've got to do more with this. So he went knocking on doors, taverns and bars, social clubs that had bars, and um, they liked it. So that's selling, and the rest is history. Uh, National uh, beer, it's the beer of uh, the Fenway Park now in Boston. It used to be Narragansett. Now it's uh, Samuel Adams. Um, all right, no further ado. Uh, I'm going to show you what I have here. People want me to eat my sandwiches and my snacks. And this is a, this one here, this uh, sub. Uh, the big ones are too big for me. <laughs> so this size here is what uh, I have. I got tomatoes, cheese, um, ham, and turkey, and uh, a little bit of mayonnaise, and some horseradish uh, is in there too. So I'll be uh, having that after the, the beer review. Uh, people have uh, a notion they want to see me eat, so I will. All right, here's a glass. Came in. We got the opener. Yes, we do. It's coming in. All right. All right. We got an opener. It's from. It's a Quinn from the tools out there at Harbor Freight. <laughs> uh, so I had to pick it up. All right. No further ado. Oh yeah. See the water paper is coming out. Get that, all right, get that drone coming up. All right. It's definitely matching the color like it said it would. Oh, that looks nice. That sure looks nice. I bet you it's going to taste pretty good. I like uh, these cream stouts. It's got a nice brown color to it. I don't know if you can see through it, but uh, in the bottom part there, can't. It's got a nice brown color to it with a tan head on it. Take it to the nose. Oh, yeah, de definitely uh, lactose is in this. We can we know that. Nice maltiness. Some chocolatey, some sweets, uh, some sweet notes are in this of uh, basically mm, toffee, like the, something sweet, toffee or car caramel, definitely sweet chocolate. The chocolate's in this, molasses possibly. All right, no further ado. Bottoms up. 
Tasty. No. Came to mind of a nice cereal. They do not use it adjuncts as far as the, the two that we all know. But all, the, anything you put in the beer is called an adjunct, whether it be berries or honey. Uh, but the ones we know is rice and corn. It's not in uh, these beers. Mm. The mouthfeel is nice. Mouthfeel is medium. A strong, a strong medium on the mouthfeel. And the, the aroma is pretty well matched the taste on the tongue. Um, I'm getting sweet chocolate. Mmm. I get a, a maltiness, kind of like the, the roasted malt um, that you, flavor you always get in these type of beers. Even some coffee. Mmm. Even the flavor of some coffee, I'm getting that. Um, I like the smell, like the, 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 the roast of malt, I don't know if I said the, the aroma, matches the flavors on the tongue. Um, that m roasted malt, the sweetness, the chocolate, I don't know if it's toffee or caramel, that flavor, I think, to me they intermingle. But um, it's a good brew, I like it. It's a nice cream stout, uh, it lived up to what it said, and uh, I, like, I like that label, the cow looking out, and... Uh, with some wheat around here, as you can see, the barley. You get they get their barley and everything from Montana. Montana is rich in some nice water and plenty of land with their barley. So would I get this again? Yes, I would get this again. I'm planning on getting this again. Great for the family and friends and fellow workers that stop by. So with that said, we will end this here, and I will go on to the sandwich. All right. Barry trying to get away. All right, there's the sandwich. Yeah, that's it right there. I know uh, everyone, for some reason they just like seeing people eat. I think it's on YouTube. Uh, I think people do that on uh, YouTube. They have things that they eat. And uh, we will do this. All right, I got some potato chips there. Well, get a better angle, I guess. All right, I will get this end piece. As you can see. Uh, I think I got my tomato in there that came out. I got that in there. Alright, no further ado. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Mm. Try my lip smacker. Mmm. Sorry for um, talking while I'm eating. But. It's nice and juicy. Got a little, little bit of a bite because I have some hot radish in this. Like a hot radish mayonnaise. The crunch is a chip. Mm. Those are the wise jam potatoes. I, I just like those. Mm. This was a good sandwich, mm. or a submarine sandwich, as we call them in New England area, or Boston area. Mmm. I think in New York they call them hoagies. In the Boston metro area we call them submarine sandwiches. Mmm. But if you uh, call it something different in your part of the, the world, put it down in the comments, please. I'm interested to know. I like a submarine, so we call them submarine sandwiches. Mmm. I like the tomatoes and onions together. Mmm. I always used to have tomatoes and lettuce. But I like tomatoes and onions better. Mmm. Particularly on a sandwich or a salad. All right, I'll keep running this too long. So, mm, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. If you enjoy the day and drink, drink responsibly, be an adult. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Don't 
think and drive or run machinery. Enjoy the day. Ciao.